Hey, what's up guys? Jeff's back with another video and I am so excited. We got a lot of new information about Conan Exiles and what's coming up for the game. And from what I understand, some of these things that you will see in the video is pretty close to being implemented into the game. Um, so we're going to be talking about the new biome, uh, new creatures, mounts, uh, there's going to be siege weapons, siege towers, you're going to be able to dye your armor in different colors, uh, new gods, I'm so hyped. I, I, what you can see, we're going to go straight into this now, what you can see in the background is footage from the new dungeon that they will be adding very soon. And this is, from, from what I've seen, this is a proper dungeon. It's nothing like there's in the game at the moment. There's only what I would call caves. Uh, maybe the sinkhole can count as a dungeon. That sinkhole, the giant hole in the middle of the map, uh, a little bit on the east side of the map, that could be a dungeon, but this one is a proper dungeon and I cannot wait to explore this. And I've read up a little bit and I think you will actually you actually have to explore the world to gain access to this dungeon somehow. I'm not sure how it's going to work in game if it's an item you need to find to get access or you just have to read a couple of hints here and there maybe. I'm not sure. We have to wait and find out I guess. Um, but yeah I'm hyped. This dungeon looks awesome and of course you can't expect anything else than a massive boss at the end. Hopefully this will, this one will give us a little bit more of a challenge. Uh, the other one's been quite a little bit too easy in my opinion. Next up is the mounts and as you can see we're gonna get camels, we're gonna get horses and these are for transportation. What I also heard there's gonna be more heavy mounts such as the rhino elephants that you can use in an offensive way, like offensive purpose. And the biggest for me so far is the siege weapons. It's gonna be awesome to try this out. I cannot wait to just nuke someone's castle with my trebuchet. It, it looks awesome. I think they did a very good job. Uh, I just hope they find a good balance here uh, so they are not just way overpowered like the gods are. They say it's gonna be costly to make them. Mm, I really hope that's the, that's the truth because the gods were supposed to be very hard to get, but they wasn't, and they were. Most people play without gods now, and so on. I just hope they find a good balance. What you could see right there in the video was that you could see a lot of stone in the trebuchet, and the stone's gonna work as a counterweight. So the more stone you have in the trebuchet, the further you could shoot. Nothing's been confirmed yet what we can actually shoot with the trebuchet. Um, hopefully, dead bodies rotten meat and so on. The new biome they will be adding is a lot different from the desert biome we play on right now. It's gonna be a lot more green, it's gonna be a little bit of snow and they also are talking about adding a temperature system uh, so there's more things for you to look out for to survive in this world. Uh, the last thing I want to show you and talk about is the dye system. You are gonna be able to color your armor uh, and not just one color, one armor piece can have multiple colors. As you can see in the video here, your chest piece, for example, can, can have red and white or white, yellow, and then a, a third color as well. So there's a lot of options for you. The way you're going to be able to do this is you need to gather pigment in, this, in the world, I guess flowers, and then you craft that into dye. And this is awesome for the clans. You can just decide on a color and you're gonna know who's the enemy and who's your friend. So that's it for this video guys. Hopefully you enjoy this. If you did please leave a like and a comment and if you are new to this channel make sure to subscribe for more videos and I'll see you guys next time.